Amy from Doodle Doll Primitives and today I'm going to show you how to create an aged look on your finished punch needle projects. I will do this using tea, brewed coffee, and instant coffee. Let's get started. Start with three different punch needle projects that are all identical and dye them into three different baths and that way you can see how they different dyes react differently and create a different look on your finished punch needle project. So to start with, I have one of the punch needle projects soaking in just plain water and I like to get them wet first. It doesn't have to soak very long. Just get it thoroughly wet and I think that helps the dye adhere better. In my first pot, I have just regular tea. I've just used plain tea bags and I use six tea bags and four cups of water. You could use more or less tea bags depending on how strong of a look you want. I'm just gonna wring out the water a little bit and push it into the tea. I'm gonna go ahead and put the next project in here let them soak a little bit. And in this next pot, I just have plain coffee that's been brewed in a coffee pot, regular strength. So I'll take my punch needle project out of the water again, wring it out, and dip it into the coffee. And in this last bowl here, I have instant coffee. Just some regular instant coffee. I did exactly like the instructions on the package say. So I will take this last punch needle project and dip it into here. Then I'm gonna wait about five minutes. All right, it's been five minutes, so now I'm going to take them out. I'll start with the T one and pull it out. Let it drip a minute. I'm going to squeeze the extra water out. I'm going to set it over here to dry, and I'm going to leave it kind of crinkled up. If I wanted to just dull the colors, you would lay it out flat to dry and it would, the color would be even everywhere, but I like to have a mottled look, so I'm going to have it kind of wrinkled up and then as it dries, the dye will settle in different places and give it more of an aged, stained, mottled look. So next we'll take out the coffee, regular brewed coffee. Again, just let it drip a little bit and squeeze out the extra. And set it there to dry. And finally, the instant coffee. Now I'm using DMC flosses, which are color fast. When you do this process, you want to make sure you're using color fast floss. A lot of flosses are, but check with the manufacturer before you put it in water so it doesn't, the dyes from the floss don't bleed. And there's that one. Now I'm just gonna let them dry overnight and we'll see what they look like tomorrow. Okay, well they're dry now so we can take a look at them and see how they turned out. This is the one that was brewed coffee. As you can see it has some dark spots where the dye settled in a lower spot. This is the instant coffee. It's a little bit darker. And this is the tea. At this point, if any of them are too dark for your liking, you can rinse them out and get some of that dye out. But I like the way they look, so I'm going to press them now. I press them from the back to get all the wrinkles out and now the dye is heat set so it will 
stay and you can't rinse it out anymore. This one is the tea, this one is the brewed coffee, and this one is the instant coffee. I hope you give this method of aging your punch needle projects a try. I would love to see your finished projects. See you next time. Bye.